let's explore groups and understand first how to create our own and then how to create conversations, share files, and even share a calendar within it. First you'll see here I'm in OWA and within OWA we don't have an obvious way at least initially to make our groups but if we click back on our folders we have our shared view here and we already see that we have a couple groups that we've already begun. Let's first make a brand new group. We'll come here and click on new and then click create a group. To the right we have a flyout panel. We're going to choose a name. Let's create a flight simulator project and let's give it a cool name. So we'll call it Project X. My group name is available and the group ID is available. So now we can add a description. We're going to state that this is public so that way anyone within my organization can choose to join this. When it says public, it doesn't mean public as in outside of your company. This means public as in anyone within your company. We can default to either have folks receive emails in their normal email inboxes, or we can allow them to just come to the group whenever they want to get an update. We're going to choose, as we want to strive for collaboration, we're going to choose to have members receive messages in their inbox every time there's an update within the project. Having all this information look good, we're going to come up to Create and click. We're going to wait just a moment, and our group is already created. We're going to add a couple members. So in Project X, let's have Mr. Canfield. Let's have Mr. Herman, and of course, Mr. Eldridge. This is good for now. Let's click Add. And now we have our brand new Project X group. So, let's explore exactly what we can do with our Project X. We can drop down on the ellipsis, and we can see already that we default to the conversations view. Let's explore this for just a moment. We can type anything we want to here. Now this conversation is stored here. Well, what happens, let's say if somebody wants to click here, you'll note that I've already got an email because I'm subscribed to this group. Um, now somebody wants to, let's say, come in and let's say I'm somebody else. I'm gonna come in and reply and I'm gonna say, hey, thanks. This is a continuing conversation thread. So as more people join and get involved and start collaborating with these different discussion threads, these threads and conversations will get longer and longer and longer. And we're going to have numerous benefits to this. Let's say in a year, somebody else joins into Project X, but instead of the conventional distribution group that most people are used to, where everyone that was part of the distribution group has those messages in their own private inboxes. This one combines all those messages into the group's inbox. So that way, let's say there were some special instructions sent out about a year ago. Well, instead of everyone in this group fishing through their inboxes, which really is, is eating away at their individual time and productivity, the new member this person can actually sift through the inbox and find all that information that they need without disturbing everyone else. We can drop down on the ellipsis now and we can see the shared calendar and just like a normal shared calendar that you would find within any other shared mailbox, this is going to have its own shared calendar. Now note that I have my own calendar here in green, which is what you're seeing here. But as this is a newly created group, see, we would normally be highlighting this in blue. We can close my calendar, for instance, and you'll see there's nothing here in the calendar. We can make an appointment for tomorrow and call it whiteboard meeting. Now everyone else in my group for Project X has this now on their calendars. Just as you see here, now this is a part of my calendar. 
This is a great collaborative feature so that way everyone else within my group can edit this calendar and we can all share and understand exactly the needs of everyone else within the organization. I'm going to click back and we're going to drop down on the ellipsis and we can see the individual members. Drop down again and we can see all of the shared files. Here you see the shared files for our Project X group. So we can either create a new file or folder or we can upload something new. You'll note that this looks very similar to the SharePoint form for uploading. That's because really what groups are is their SharePoint, Yammer, and Exchange Online. It's essentially, it's a layer on top of all three, if you will. So we're going to click on Browse, and I'm going to upload all of these guys. Again, we see our very common form and our very common process that we see in OneDrive. And of course, you'll see that repeated in Office 365 video and a lot of the things that use SharePoint as their back end. So now we have a series of these files that are shared amongst all the folks in my group. That way we can all use them and collaborate with them. I'm going to drop down on the ellipsis, go back to my conversations. Now we see that my whiteboard meeting actually got added to the conversation thread, which was pretty cool. Let's say back in this conversation thread, we're going to want to add one of the files that is relevant that we just put up in the, the OneDrive, if you will, or the Files section, if you will. Down here on the bottom right of this message form, we're going to click Attach. choose Project X, and here are all the spreadsheets that we just uploaded. Now let's just say theoretically that this was something that was relevant. So we can choose it and click Next, and we can either send it as an attachment or we can share it with OneDrive. Now in OneDrive, this is a real advantage because everyone can not only simultaneously work on it, but they can all view it and instead of everyone having their own version and then different versions of that document, everyone will be operating off of one singular version. And this is really going to be ideal because when you're having a group, this is, this is a collaboration platform. So we're going to choose OneDrive and it just took a moment and now it's ready. We're going to click send and now everyone has this document that they can work from. You'll see up here, we just got an email because we're subscribed. So let's create a new spreadsheet so we can track our new statistics. We're going to come to Files, click on New, and we're going to create a new Excel workbook. Here's everything we expect in our workbook. We're going to double click. We're going to give this a title. And having this set up, we're not going to include anything just yet because we want to, say, address this in our whiteboard meeting that we just created. We're going to click back on Project X, go back to our file store. Here's our new statistics document. We're going to come back to our conversations. And back to our whiteboard meeting. Now we saw that I already have this on my calendar because I'm subscribed. We're going to reply. I'm going to attach. And then we're going to attach from our Project X group the statistics spreadsheet. Click on Next. And as we discussed, we'll share with OneDrive. Then we're going to send. Now everyone has that new statistics worksheet that they can all work from. So when we click on it, you're going to see it's going to open up a shared workspace where we all can simultaneously work on the spreadsheet at the same time. We can have dozens of people all be working on this and commenting at the same time. So we see that everyone can really benefit from this kind of collaboration. What kind of groups will you create?